Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome, my dear brothers and sisters, to today's edition of the Daily Catholic Reflection with me, Reverend Father Peter Moba, SDB. Today is Tuesday, the 20th week in ordinary time. Welcome to today's reflection. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things, which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading today is taken from the book of prophet Ezekiel, chapter 28, from verse 1 to 10. And the gospel is taken from the gospel according to Matthew, chapter 19, from verse 23 to 30. I read from the first reading. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, because your heart is proud, and you have said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of the gods, in the heart of the seas, yet you are but a man and no God. Though you consider yourself as wise as a God, you are indeed wiser than Daniel. No secret is hidden from you by your wisdom. And your understanding you have gotten wealth for yourself and have gathered gold and silver into your treasuries by your great wisdom in trade you have increased your wealth and your heart has become proud in your wealth therefore thus says the Lord God because you consider yourself as a wise as wise as a God. Therefore, behold, I will bring strangers upon you, the most terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their sword against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. They shall thrust you down into the pit, and you shall die the death of the slain in the heart of the sea. Will you still say, I am a God? In the presence of those who slay you, though you are but a man and no God, in the hands of those who wound you, you shall die in the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of foreigners. For I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. cry for humility, crush the pride that has blinded me, forgive my head and faults and bring the fear of God until your dread. Must increase 
spotlight become less. Keep your servant from willful sin, so I'll stand blameless before your throne. I will worship the Spirit. Are but a man and no God. But you are a man and not a God. Sometimes we behave so arrogantly or proudly that we forget who we are and the stuff in which we are made of, that we are mere human and not God. We boast on what we shall do or achieve as if our life and our future depend on us. The first reading today makes it very clear. When the word of God came through the prophet Ezekiel against the proud prince of Tyre, whose heart is full of pride and have proclaimed himself a god, sitting in the seat of the gods, whereas he is but a mere man and not a god. Though he consider himself as wise as a god. The problem sometimes is that we don't know who we are. Some of us have not understood who we are. Sometimes we acclaim what we are not. Sometimes we proclaim on, our, on ourselves what we are not. The problem with the Prince of Tyre is that he did not see his position as a privilege from God. He saw it as a merit. He did not also see it as an opportunity to serve others in humility. Rather, he sees it as a means to exalt himself and make himself a God over others. Therefore, God Almighty decided to humble him. Because this is what God does to some of us who are very arrogant. Some of us who do not know that it is God who makes us who we are. So God decided to humble the prince of Tyre and to remind him that he is nothing before him, that he is just a man. And the word of the Lord came through prophet Ezekiel and said to him, Because you consider yourself as wise as a god, therefore behold, I will bring strangers upon you the most terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. They shall thrust you down into the pit, and you shall die the death of the slain in the heart of the seas. As we have seen from the first reading, that God does not support or promote the proud or the arrogant, the scripture says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. James chapter 4 verse 6. There is only one God, and we are his children. Therefore, placing oneself in the same level with God attracts the wrath of God and humiliation upon that person. For God does not entertain rivals. He is a jealous God. Anytime we try to put off up ourselves, anytime we try to exalt ourselves, anytime we try to praise ourselves, to take the honor, to attribute the, 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 the achievement to ourselves and not to God, we are equating ourselves 
to God. And God is a jealous God, doesn't uh, tolerate this kind of attitude. We must realize that we are nothing but humans. Humans with weakness, limitations, and boundaries. We cannot be everywhere. We cannot do everything. We cannot have everything. There is limitations and there is boundary to our humanity. We, can, we came to this earth naked with nothing. All we have, all we are, and all we are able to do are all possible because there is a higher being, God, who makes them possible for me. Never you ascribe your achievement to your self-effort or to your smartness or hard work. Sometimes you hear people saying, it's because I'm hardworking, it's because I'm very smart. All these things can be fruitless without God. We have many people who are smarter and hardworking, yet not able to make it like you. Make yourself simple and humble always. And in all things, give all honor to God. Don't exude the same arrogance of the Prince of Tyre that landed him into trouble and disgrace. May God help us. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God come down upon you and remain with you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Glory, oh, see.